Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor. I wanted to show you an improvement that we made a couple of years ago. Uh, not one that I came up with on my own. I stole it from other people and improved on it and made it better. But uh, I want to show you here in the back, this is uh, the red hayfla cart that many of you are familiar with and you've got in your shop that you probably use to move materials around. Let's so talk. early on in the business, uh, we needed a place to stack parts for jobs. And I think one of the first times I ever went to a big, uh, big show, uh, they had a great deal on these on the, at the Hayful of Booth, and I think we probably had 10 or so of them, over 10, 15 of them in the shop over the years. And we would, when we would cut out a job, we would stack and load parts on here, shelves in here, verticals run across horizontally on that. The wheels, they're always a pain. They were hard to push around. You get several hundred pounds of stuff on it. And then when you wheel it over to the van, you have to individually load in all of those bundles of material, and depending on how your vans were set up and stuff like that, the issue we were having is we were, first off, every time you touch the material, there's an opportunity to damage it. And second, depending on my installers and who was loading and stuff, sometimes we would spend an hour to an hour and a half loading a job. They'd go through and they'd be double checking it and measuring and, oh, this is missing. No, it's not missing there. And so we said, hey, there's got to be a better way. So this is what we came up with. Uh, now, I'd seen boxes as many as 20 years ago. A lot of times they were just kind of a rickety plywood setup. Uh, you would have to put extended forks on your forklift to lift it up so it, that it wouldn't fall over. And the ones that I saw never really looked like they were a huge improvement. Uh, a few years ago, I was in somebody's shop and I saw the solution that they'd come up with the extended forks. And so we went ahead and built our boxes out of steel and I went and got tubing that would fit our forks. And so the box itself became the extended fork. So when you drive the forklift in, it drives in and you pick it up and it's contained on there. So even the box will wobble back and forth a little bit, but it's on the fork, it's not gonna fall off. Originally, we built it up off the ground like this because we were moving it. We would put a pallet jack underneath it and jack it up and then we could move it that way. And then we said, you know what? That's too much work every time we need a pallet jack. So we ordered, heavy duty wheels. These are like thousand pound wheels that we welded onto the bottom. You'll notice that they are, the, the, the box itself is only about a quarter inch off of the ground. And we did that so that when we load it in, we can, one, we can move it around easily in the shop wherever we need to go with it. So we can push it around without having to have a pallet jack, without having to move it over the forklift. Then uh, when the job is all complete, just about all of our jobs we can we can fit in one box. So this is a job that we've got going in here. Uh, so we've got everything stacked in here towards the back so that when we're in the van that we can pull these items out. When we're all done and complete with the job, we've got a checklist that we go over. And when we're done, we, when we've double checked everything and make sure it's in there, we've got a little teepee that goes on there that tells that our installers that this job is ready to go and it can literally be loaded right in there if we've got, we have a different color TP that says, hey, it's ready to go, but there's stuff that's outside of the box. We put that on there uh, for that type of situation. So now in the morning or in the afternoon when they get back, the installers can come over and pick this up and they just drive it right over here and they set it in their, their vans. And in the van, we've got a raised, we have two raised things that it sits on. Our newer van, we've improved on it and it just sits down in there. It can't slide forward because it's got a stopper on there. It's got a couple thousand pounds in it. It's not moving anywhere. The job is all loaded and literally we can load up now for a job in just a few minutes, a couple of minutes. Uh, when they're on the job is what we've done. The other thing we've done is in the, in the top box here, we have got just a, a, a thin piece of carpet. So that one that protects stuff that's in here, but also when you're unloading. So after you've unloaded this, so you don't have to crawl into the van to get the rest of it you can just pull the carpet out and it will slide down and being that it's carpet it'll drop down out of the way previously we had it on quarter inch material and it would slide out and but then it would be in the way it would come out here and it would be in the way so with the carpet it actually drops down and then you can get to these items and take it away and then at the end of the day when they come back so this van here came back tonight they got back a little later so they didn't do anything all we have to do is come in with a forklift, pick it up and pull it out and then come around over here, swap that one back in, back in the van and we're good to go. 
So that is our installment improvement box. Uh, the big thing that was the difference on that was having using the tubes as the extended forks. I've got a powder coater right next door. That's why this stuff is all powder coated and looks nice, but you could get by with uh, just using it bare steel. And I think I've probably got about 500 bucks in each one of them. We've got about a half dozen of them here in the shop so that we're continually rotating them, never have to wait. So there you have it. That was our install improvement. Uh, Early on, I had guys that fought over this, uh, literally installers that didn't like it. Uh, and now I've got them, they've got them pretty well trained. My new guys love it. And when we're on the job and other, other trades are there and they're checking out our vans, they're like, dang, that is really cool how you guys handle that. So a uh, great thing. If you're looking for a place to save some time, uh, they've more than paid for themselves. Like I said, we went from an hour to, uh, you know, 15 minutes is what I'd round on, hour, hour and a half sometimes down to 15 minutes on on simple jobs and so every you know i get two install vans i get two two-man crews on that and so we're, we're saving you know four hours a day in labor on load up time easily and so over a, you know in a short amount of time it paid to have those uh those built